Good evening to all of you. A warm welcome to each and every one of you who have joined in this evening with the webinar organized by UTE Learning Center. Before beginning the session, you may be aware of your safety. You may be listening to us being at your home or at your office or at any other location. Wherever you are located, be aware of your exit way in an emergency. If you are driving by any chance, we suggest you to park until the session is over and avoid driving while using a listening device. This webinar is jointly organized by UTE Learning Center along with UTech Technologies Private Limited, which is one of the subsidiary of UTE. United Tractor and Equipment Private Limited, the mother company, which is well known in Sri Lanka as UTE, is the only dealer in Sri Lanka for Caterpillar Incorporation USA since 1947. Being the leader in construction machineries and power generation industries, it has diverged today into several industries such as water treatment, solar, warehousing, training, and latest is IoT. UTE Learning Center serves as the training and development arm of UTE, offering education and training programs such as engine technology, hydraulic technology, power generation, heavy equipment trainings, as well as non-technical training such as continuous improvement, safety and health management, and other employee development programs, etc. It turns a new page with the introduction of IoT-related education programs to the industry. As a subsidiary of UTE, today, UTech Technologies Private Limited serves in many industries. It has entered overseas markets with their flagship telematic device, the UTEC Black Box, which is a universal telematic gateway used in a wide range of industrial equipment, such as production machinery, power generators, construction machinery, air compressors, UPS system, chillers, and commercial vehicles, etc. It has been granted the patent for remote monitoring device for earth moving equipment, machines, power gen sets, and charcoal industrial stove. It has been UTEC Technologies was awarded the National Best Quality Award for ICT for UTEC Black Box under the Engineering and Industrial Sectors in 2019. Now, let me turn into our keynote speaker this evening. After graduating as a chemistry undergraduate with fully qualified in Zima, he started his career as a management trainee at UTE. His journey took him through product support manager, group general manager, and became the CEO of UTE in 2012. He has obtained executive education from Sanford University, Cambridge University, and Harvard Business School during his career and currently reading for his doctorate at PIA. During his tenure till 2019 as CEO of UTE, with his passion towards IoT-based developments, it was invented remote monitoring device for heavy machineries, and that led to form the new subsidiary of UTE, which is UTech Technologies Private Limited. Currently served, serves as the managing director and CEO of UTech. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the keynote speaker this evening, Mr. Riyad Smile. Good evening, Mr. Riyad. And uh, good now evening. the platform is yours. Good evening, uh, Diane, and thank you for this wonderful introduction. And uh, good evening, uh, everybody who is present here. Thank you for taking time of this evening uh, to attend uh, this uh, webinar. Uh, so today, uh, we are just, uh, I know there are many of you who may know uh, what IoT is. So bear with me because I'll be going through some of the basics and please feel free to ask any questions uh, that you may desire. So again, let's uh, start things. Can we go on to the first slide? Yeah, so uh, let's start with uh, a small uh, video clip of explaining about IoT. Internet of Things, or IoT, is influencing our lifestyle from the way we react to the way we behave. From air conditioners that you can control with your smartphone, to smart cars providing the shortest route, or your smartwatch which is tracking your daily activities. 
IoT is a giant network of connected devices. These devices gather and share data about how they are used and the environment in which they are operated. It's all done using sensors. Sensors are embedded in every physical device. It can be your mobile phone, electrical appliances, vehicles, barcode sensors, traffic lights, and almost everything that you come across in day-to-day -day life. These sensors continuously emit data about the working state of the devices. But the important question is, how do they share this huge amount of data and how do we put this data to our benefit? IoT provides a common platform for all these devices to dump their data and a common language for all the devices to communicate with each other. Data is emitted from various sensors and sent to IoT platforms securely. IoT platform integrates the collected data from various sources, further analytics is performed on the data, and valuable information is extracted as per requirement. Finally, the result is shared with other devices for better user experience, automation, and improving efficiency. Let us look at a scenario where IoT is doing wonders. In an AC manufacturing industry, both the manufacturing machine and the belt have sensors attached. They continuously send data regarding the machine health and the production specifics to the manufacturer to identify issues beforehand. A barcode is attached to each product before leaving the belt. It contains the product code, manufacturer details, special instructions, etc. The manufacturer uses this data to identify where the product was distributed and track the retailer's inventory. Hence, the manufacturer can make the product running out of stock available. Next, these products are packed in parcels to different retailers. Each retailer has a barcode reader to track the products coming from different manufacturers, manage inventory, check special instructions, and many more. The compressor of air conditioner has an embedded sensor that emits data regarding its health and temperature. This data is analyzed continuously, allowing the customer care to contact you for the repair work in time. This is just one of the million scenarios we have smart appliances, smart cars, smart homes, smart cities, where IoT is redefining our lifestyle and transforming the way we interact with technologies. The future of IoT industry is huge. Business Insider Intelligence estimates that 24 billion IoT devices will be installed by 2020, and IDC predicts that IoT revenue will reach around 357 billion in 2019 resulting in a lot of job opportunities in the IT industry. Okay, so uh, as you guys saw in that video, um, you know, IoT is a very, very big industry, okay? What it's going to do is it's going to transform our lives. It's already doing that because what will happen is that the amount of manual intervention in any, anything that we do, produce it even in your homes, that it will be all automated. And also devices will be able to basically communicate with each other and with, with you and tell them, you know, just tell you what, it, what they're feeling, what is the status, is any, anything going wrong, okay? And, and be able to, uh, you know, tell you before a big failure happens that, uh, you know, the, you know uh, to correct it. So, if we go and explain about the internet of things what does it mean so what are these we know what the internet is okay so when you talk of things in the iot things mean any any device or anything made by man so it can be a simple thing like your home fan your car the iron okay a machine that is producing goods or even your shoes or a light so anything that you find physically in the world, if, it is, if you connect it to the internet by using a certain devices or IoT, that means you have a smart device. So internet of things means making things smart and connecting them to the internet, okay? Next slide again. So if you look at the, you know, common things we use at home and we take these for granted. We have the lights, ovens, irons, and, and fans and water. So many of us who, you know, who have ironed or, you know, kept a light on and left home, 
we are always wondering okay did i leave the iron on uh, did i keep the you know oven on or did i keep the fan on or is my water tap running you never know once you leave home you are disconnected with that uh, with that device okay so very simply what internet of things or iot does uh, next slide gun is if you take the general light bulb you have a switch but if you connect it to a smart gateway okay and this is a very common gateway that you can buy for about 5 dollars from from aliexpress or daras and you can connect this to the input of your light next slide uh, just keep clicking and that is called iot gateway that connects to the your router internet router okay and from there this device will start connecting to the internet okay and then finally you can control and monitor this simple light with your mobile phone using a mobile app so as you can see anything anybody can make anything or any device smart by adding these internet gateways and connecting it to the uh, wifi router so this is how iot works and there are three main types of iot you get the internet of things for your home you get the industrial internet of things or the connecting all the factory machines and production machines to the internet and also you get in your cities you get uh, you can make all the cities smart by you know installing various sensors and and things in the city so in the home you have many many areas starting from your locks to your hi-fi systems security cameras your automated blinds for example if the sun you know is shining the blind uh, the curtain will automatically come down and and stop the glare then you can control the temperature of your homes the lighting and even appliances for example if you want uh, some cooking to start or your washing machine to start before you get home you can program the the device or the cooker to start uh, you know at a particular time and when you get home the your meal will be ready and also water in your garden all can be automated uh, by the internet of things by making all these things uh, smart using the gateways next slide and when it comes to the industrial iot i will explain more and and in the next segment is the uh, smart cities so you know that now you can you know basically buy your vehicle revenue license or pay your electricity bill or check how much your bill is on the internet so that is also a part of iot or automation where you don't know it to physically go to uh, you know uh, cb outlet to pay your bill uh, that is also a part of iot but more or less traffic management uh, you know the 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 smart uh, uh, traffic signals can be also incorporated so that when there is no traffic the, uh, the 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 traffic lights change according to the traffic on the road and also you can have smart government and smart manufacturing smart education like what we do now we are remotely learning since of this covid but that is also part of the iot revolution okay so next slide so i am going to talk a little bit more about the industrial revolution and and why it's important so as you would have studied in school there was there are four industrial revolutions currently and and starting from the steam engine and then when when electricity was uh, found then factories became they ran with electricity then the third industrial revolution is the computing revolution when computers were invented the factory machines were connected to the computers and the computers were programmed to run the machines and today we are in what you call the fourth industrial revolution which is based on intelligence so no longer do you need to program a machine to work okay the machine itself is learning for example you tell a machine i want only to select red uh, production units from from a group of colors so you don't need to identify every red one you just show the machine one red uh, piece and it will it will understand that and it will only go and look for those red 
pieces and sort those out from a big pile of whatever. So therefore, the fourth industrial revolution is going to be totally autonomous without human intervention, like the autonomous cars, like the Tesla that has come up now can, can drive hundreds of miles without a driver. Okay, it will learn, it will study the road, it will study the markings, it will look for objects and human beings, it will avoid them and it will drive you and very soon you can basically go to sleep in your car and wake up at your destination. So are the robots that are producing uh, all the uh, cars and, and equipment that we use, all of them are now self-learning and, and, and uh, working autonomously using AI or artificial intelligence and so on. So let us look at how IoT in, influences or benefits the fourth industrial revolution. As you can see, the fourth industrial revolution is centered around IoT. So without IoT, you cannot run Industry 4.0 because IoT, as, we, as I said, is, is what connects all the factory machines to one platform, which is uh, processing all the information that comes and deciding how to uh, make that machine work the way the human being wants it to. So, uh, Gan, let's click again. So, as I said, IoT is, is playing the vital role in the industry or the latest industrial revolution where our whole world uh, is going to. Okay. So if you look at the areas uh, that uh, are involved in the industrial IoT, it, it touches every area of industry today, including the road vehicles that we go on, okay? The, the equipment like trains, buses, vehicles, generators, anything that is a machine. Uh, we have manufacturing equipment, we have power plants, we have you know, things like cold storages where we are monitoring, you know, keep keeping our frozen goods in an environment which has to be monitored. Then it, it is also going into agriculture now and fishery where you have the smart farms, okay, where irrigation and everything, watering is automated based on the, 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 the humidity in the soil. And you can monitor almost any any uh, factory or environment using IoT. Okay, next slide. So, as we now understand the impact of IoT and and where IoT sits in in industry and in our homes and in our cities, let us look what are the individual components that make an IoT platform. So as we said, there is what you call the thing. And I explained what the thing was. A thing is anything man-made, right? So all things have sensors, right? For example, if you take the air condition in your home, you will have a temperature sensor in it that detects the temperature and turns it on and off depending on the temperature you set. You will have a humidity sensor. You will have a timer inside that is timing the, the times that it's on and off and also you will have a power consumption sensor. So these things connect to the sensors and then these sensors connect to this IoT gateway, right? IoT gateway, I'll explain, is the main uh, unit or the system that connects to the sensors, takes the sensor information, processes it, and through a communication module, sends it to the internet cloud, okay? And from the internet cloud, you can download it via an app and monitor this AC and also turn it on and off and control. So it basically gives you from anywhere in the world, you can monitor your device and also control it using this system of architecture or IoT. Uh, next slide. So let's look at uh, some of the, you know, all of these devices or, or machines have sensors embedded into them. So prefer a uh, next slide then. So these are all the sensors that you find in the world. 
Okay, so you have any machine will have one or more of these sensors monitoring these kind of parameters. So anybody doing physics or science in, in, in school would understand these sensors, acceleration, magnetic, you know, flow me, flowy flows, monitoring chemical gas, sound, moisture, humidity, temperature, motion, and position sensor. So any machine will have these sensors. Okay, so it's a matter IoT is connecting these sensors. Next slide, Gan. Yeah, a sensors, for example, this is in a car. You can see even in a small car, there are so many sensors that are connected, uh, starting from, you know, uh, a, a simple AC sensor or a fuel sensor uh, and connecting it to the engine's ECM or the engine control module. Uh, that is controlling all the parameters on, of the car to make sure that it's working well and, and giving the best efficiency and so on. So you can see that sensors are playing a big part in, in IoT. Okay. So again, uh, again, next slide. Yeah. So we'll talk about the gateways. So the gateways, as I said, is the is the device that connects to the sensors, okay? And it sends all the information to, to the cloud platform where it can be processed and monitored and controlled, okay? So that is why it's called a gateway. Gateway is like a gate. It connects to uh, the things through the sensors and then opens the gate and sends that information through various communication modules. It can be through cellular, the normal, uh, 4G connectivity that we use. It can be through Wi-Fi, it can be through Bluetooth or whatever. It can communicate that data through those communication channels to any cloud platform. So that's what gateways do. Next slide. Okay, so this is a simple uh, thing. Uh, you would have known, I don't know how many of you know of the Arduino and Gayan will talk a little bit about it. It's, it's a very simple uh, microprocessor device, which is used by a lot of hobbyists and you know, people who want to learn about IoT um, to, uh, to play around with, to experiment with and make this thing. So as you can see, you have a motion sensor here in, in on the right here, okay? That connects to this Arduino and you can program this to turn on and off a lamp or something if it detects some human being. So it's a very simple thing you can do even in your home. You don't need to learn a lot. A lot of it is available all on the internet and you can study and learn this kind of stuff. Next. So let's look at uh, what is important is, you know, for you as a student, okay, what are the opportunities in IoT industry what you need to study to be an IoT expert or an engineer or have a career, a job in IoT, okay? So the first thing I'd like to tell you is that the IoT revenue growth is, is tremendous. So it is expected uh, that in 2023, okay, it will grow up to about 350 million, 350 billion dollars uh, in, in revenue for the IoT industry and, and the growth Next slide, Dan. And the growth in connections will be close to 75 billion. That means they're expecting in 2025 that every single piece of equipment will be connected to the internet uh, in some way or the other, right? So there is a lot of opportunity uh, in, in this industry as it's the fastest growing industry in the world today, right? Next slide. So it's going to, in, in 2030, 20, the IoT growth in revenue will be about 1.5 trillion US dollars, right? So they have forecasted that it will even go exponentially faster than it's growing now after 2025 in the next, to the 2030, okay? So, this is a slide that is important. I think many of you are doing O levels or A levels. Okay, so uh, I'm also doing my PhD in the area of uh, you know careers 
and and i found this very important slide you know about the unemployment about graduates so if you look at the courses that our universities our state universities are uh, performing okay and if you look at the unemployment rate you can see that uh, students who are doing graduate courses in architecture in computer science education or uh, health sciences or engineering okay have have a good opportunity of getting a job when they are uh, when they graduate from university but if you are doing uh, say performing arts or management or arts it's very difficult to get a job because there are not many job opportunities in in sri lanka for those areas iot comes okay in the area of engineering or science so if you either do science uh, subjects that is chemistry and uh, mathematics uh, you will be in an advantageous position to uh, be more um, knowledgeable and heading towards a career here but that doesn't stop you i am a, a chemistry student but i did science by science but i ended up doing this so it doesn't matter as long as you have the passion to learn and you need to have a good understanding in english okay uh, because a lot of the resources are in english to study iot even on the internet in google in youtube so you need to improve your english and you need to have an interest in you know computers electronics okay and also there are certain coding to learn like program so all the programming can be taught but people have to have a liking to coding if you are to become a iot engineer and it's preferable that you study uh, mathematics for a levels because to become an engineer or to do a technical subjects you need to be doing mathematics maths has to be good and there is a lot of learning to do on youtube and on on facebook and all that to in in this area there are a lot of facebook groups that are in in studying iot and uh, teaching and there is also uh, some practicals that you can do by you know using the audio you know you can buy a kit and learn and also you you need to have some interest in innovation and doing new things and solving day to day problems so these are very important skills that uh, a person entering this field has to have next slide yeah so the university courses that are in private and state universities that can give you a uh, 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 entrance into iot is obviously if you do electrical and electronic engineering then software engineering then mechatronics is another course or mathematics and physics also in universities you can uh, you know upskill yourself to learn this and then electrical and communication engineering is another course there it is and then even statistics and data science so even data plays a big role because from all these iot devices a lot of data is gathered so there are a lot of data scientists are involved in analyzing this data to uh, basically make use of it uh, for predictive and ai and so on so there are a lot of uh, flexibility in these courses uh, that you can do to enter the field of iot next slide so what are the job opportunities so there are many job opportunities uh from becoming a hardware designer software communications even a maintenance engineer integration engineer data scientist okay ai engineer cyber security so or, or even you can go in and be a factory production head or an engineer because as i said all machines will be connected to iot in the future so there will be a lot of opportunities for people with iot experience to even get into production phase next slide okay so let me just introduce you tech with a couple of slides uh, next slide then so you tech as dan explained is a relatively new company in sri lanka so we actually innovate all our products so we don't import any of our iot solutions 
everything is manufactured and designed and implemented in Sri Lanka by a group of Sri Lankan engineers. So we are very proud to be a totally local company and we are now have been awarded our patent and also exporting to many countries in the world. And we actually cater to all industries in Sri Lanka, including uh, the production, including marine and, and even garments and the telecoms. So we are having products and solutions for all of these different uh, entities and segments. Next slide. So with this, uh, we are going to just show you a little bit about our, uh, so Van, you take it over. And uh, I think Chamit uh, is on board, right? So are there any questions from anybody uh, before we uh, go to the next segment? Rashna Munari, do you know that? If you have any questions, uh, you can press um, even now or you may take down some yeah. questions you have and yeah. we can discuss that okay. at the end of the session even. Okay. Uh, Riyad, we will move to the next uh, segment. Yeah. So Chamit will uh, give a brief introduction about his career. Chamit is one of our senior R&D engineers. Uh, so he uh, actually is a mechatronics engineer who works now in R&D and innovation at UTEC. So Chamit, you can uh, give a little brief about your experience. Um, hello, good evening, guys. Uh, so as Mr. Ria told, I am Chamit uh, Koparehiva. So uh, yes, I. Uh, work as a uh, research, and, uh, research and development engineer at UTEC. So uh, talking a bit about my career. So I started off, uh, basically I had a very uh, a huge enthusiasm for engineering or basically making stuff and all that. So electronics was something that I was very interested in. And uh, because of that, it made me take the career of mechatronics engineering and afterwards I luckily managed to get, get myself into UTEC and actually uh, from that point onwards, we, man I, we managed to build a lot of products and we have actually been progressing. So uh, I'll not focus on all the other things, but I'll focus on IoT especially. So I know when I was doing my, uh, what I call my degree, my bachelor's, uh, IoT wasn't something that, it wasn't something that, it wasn't that, uh, what you call popular within those days. It was something that was coming up. So you're looking at the ages, uh, uh, years of 2014, 15. So that's when I, when everything was being introduced. So even though I did not know what IoT was, we had to do projects that were kind of IoT related. So it it, it actually started with basically uh, like as Ms. Riyad was telling, like getting a getting a couple of sensors, using our Arduino board. Actually, I, I was introduced to Arduino first. We I was introduced to micro micro C microcontrollers. So from that, uh, I had to send send an SMS using a small um, what do you call a SIM module. So things like that. So. Uh, I was introduced to the world of I IoT without knowing what IoT, and I actually got a chance to like harness the power of it. So my final year project, I had a big scope in, scope in it, but out of one particular scope of that uh, project was to make make a call and to send an SMS and with the GPS coordinates and all those details. So without knowing what IoT was, I we we have been using IoT. But after after this, after IoT got very uh, what do you call it. Uh, quite popular, it was clear that IoT was basically connecting all, all the small dumb things to the server and getting things, uh, getting use, useful data out of it. So the question is, now I started as a person who didn't know much about engineering as a whole, but now I have to go to, not only me, my colleagues also, we have to go uh, fight against big machines. Like I, I, I go, so I go like meet clients and machines that I've never ever seen in my life. Like it's the first time I've seen them. Like you, it, the machine itself can be around three, four times the size of this uh, my, of my my own self. But the point is, it's the same engineering concepts that we have to apply. The IoT uh, examples that I would use to switch on a light in my house right now is quite similar to what I would need to even switch on a generator. But not exactly similar, but quite similar. Definitely, there is the scalability is definitely different, and you need to have certain protection, certain. Uh, certain what you call 
techniques and etc but the base we are the base or the basic the physics behind it is always the same so what i would like to say is that from my experience is that when when it comes to so this is again from experience that i'm speaking when we go meet customers and all that they are actually they do not know how to uh, progress forward they are not willing to uh, they are basically like i'm not uh, is nothing negative about them but like when it comes to technical in sri lanka technicalities in sri lanka uh, people are kind of scared to like mess around with a lot of things but i would like to ask is when it comes to iot all those kind of things if you want to do something don't be scared to do it just go ahead and try it but definitely take uh, you need to follow safety protocols go ahead with all the safety protocols but it's the same uh, it's the same thing same concept as what you would do in your project uh, in your in projects that you might do it as a hobby but it's the same thing that you can apply out there in the industry too so i'll quickly run through a couple of dashboards that, so that i can show, share with you guys some information so these are actual dashboards of generators um a, i have a couple of uh, list already and i'll share my screen right now so that you can get an idea of what i'm exactly speaking so okay i hope the screen is visible is it the case or yes we can see yeah. it great so a uh, quick run through of basically what uh, i i think is riyad basically our ceo uh, he explained exactly what utech is and what we do and this is an uh, this is a live portal of utech and mind you as i was mentioning before i started from nothing and we have basically i have learned little by little things and obviously utech to start from a, like a a real low stage and came up all the way and we have these are all machines that you're looking right now which are actually live that are working and all of these okay uh all of these depict actually some meaning for example green means that machine particular machine is switched on right now so what i would like to say is i mean it's it, there's a lot of work that we have put into this but it's something that you can do anyone can do if they are willing to do it so uh, i'll quickly have a look through of couple of machines so i've actually got a couple of them open right now in tab so that will be very easy so i won't take much time so as i was mentioning before this is a quick run through of a generator so this is a very huge generator mind you this is a 2500 kv generator so and as you the name goes by it's in wtc so that's in colombo and this is one of the generators there and 2500 kva means a generator of this size and basically if i stand here i would not even reach up to the cat logo so that's how huge this generator itself is and this generator uh, all these parameters are being taken in real time and sent in to our portal real time so but for example if the generator switches on switches off or if someone comes and let's say someone comes and presses the emergency button when uh, when what you call when there is power cut definitely the entire wtc will not have electricity so all of that will be recorded on this and it will be sent as an sms to you or basic the customer so that he can have a look uh, through and see and all of these details you can actually plot graphs uh, get the data out of it and actually uh, what you call get uh, get information out of this entire portal so that the customer can use it as it is so this is one example i'll go through a couple of examples so you can understand exactly the background and on this case i'll be focusing on industrial iot because uh, the one main reason is most of the time you get home iot home iot related stuff even in youtube you get a lot of examples but when it comes to industrial iot there's not many examples all the time and most of the industrial iot is always a niche market that is given for a particular set of people so i would like to introduce and i would like to share some of the experience because this is something that we are doing it by ourselves as ms riyad was saying by ourselves and we are in, uh, implementing everything from scratch so this is one generator and here uh, i would like to show you is another this is mind you this is a generator in a kargisput city so in any food city that you go into definitely there should be a generator right so all of the generators has to be so in this case generators have to be monitored and this particular uh, food city is in batramulla so this particular batramulla food city has the this is the full capacities etc these are the, all the details and at this point of time the generator switched off and I, I mean if the generator was switched on definitely it will so show you as the engine condition is switched on so this is one example another is so i can actually plot as, as i was mentioning i can plot data and get data out of it so uh, i hope everyone here knows about what uh, the current current is so definitely the current consumption or basically the amount of current that is used uh, used within a given second will vary depending on the time of it so obviously during the daytime what's it 
uh, during the daytime, the current consumption should be very high. So if you look at the look, look at this point where, where basically where you see the currents, you can see that this is at, at around basically the outlet closes at around 11. So after that, the current drops and then at a, in, the, in the morning after around 730 or basically the outlet opens at nine, but people come in at around that amount, that's 730, then it all goes up back to its original this thing. So these are a couple of things that you can get out of an IoT portal. And this is industrial IoT that mind you that I'm exactly uh, showing you. So I showed you an example of a generator, another generator, which is in, in place that we always go into like for, uh, supermarkets. And let me go into an e example of uh, industry. So this is an actual chiller, chiller site, which is already there in uh, an, a, a basically a place called LTL. So this, the, this is, these are the, all the information that you can get out of this particular chiller and all the, all the information that you can take. So for example, we are getting, we're getting the status of the status of the chiller and also the temperature readings out of the chiller. And another one, another good example that I would like to show is a compressor. So uh, just a quick information. So if anyone who, do, who doesn't know what a compressor is, a compressor is, this is a, a very big factory. This is Ansel Lanka, so which, which is a very big factory. This compressor uh, is used to actually power, what do you call it, uh, power a couple of, uh, a, a, a complete production line. So uh, what a compressor does is simply it will be compressing air and giving you compressed air. So this is the current status of it. And these are all the actual readings that I'll get that, that uh, this, uh, the compressor is giving to you right now at this point of time. So another example is, okay, so this is a, another interesting example. So uh, this is again a supermarket, but if you look at supermarkets, I hope you know, definitely you have seen uh, veg, uh, like different, different cabinets, like freezing cabinets. You need to monitor the temperature of all, the, all of these cabinets because that's something that is very important. So this actually monitors the, an entire supermarket and shows you all the date, uh, all the temperatures of the particular uh, supermarket. So this is another uh, one particular set of information. So uh, using the UTEC IoT portal, I can, I mean, we can do a couple of more things. Like for example, I can send SMS, like for example, I'll give you a quick example. Uh, if, for ex if we say that uh, the, the daily display cabinet, if it goes more than 25 degrees Celsius, yes, it will, it will quickly uh, know that it has gone, gone more than 25 degrees Celsius and it will alert the customer saying that the temperature has increased more than 25 degrees Celsius. So all of this is uh, what this this is one simple example. Not I wouldn't call it a simple example, but this is an example of IoT as a whole. And our focus, UTEX focus, is industrial IoT. So I would, but I would like the main reason of showing all of this is to make sure that all of you guys get an exact exam exact example of what really happens in here. And actually, even though what people think is you have to go abroad to do a lot of things, do technical things, and etc. That's not the case. Even here in Sri Lanka, we have a huge op opportunity for tech technology. We need a lot of technology because industry 4.0 is something that we really need. And we, this is something that we have done by ourselves from the circuit to the portal, to the firmware, all of it in Sri Lanka itself. So I would like, I hope this helped anyone. And I would like if you guys to take part in this. Samit, uh, I would like to hear from you what made you to uh, enter to this IoT industry, uh, Jamit, now that would uh, give some yeah. insights to others. Uh, why you entered to, why you started on this uh, IoT? Take one minute and explain. Sure. So uh, more than IoT, it was electronics that really uh, get what me into. So I wanted to uh, go ahead with electronic product development. So basically with electronic product development, uh, I, I like afterwards. I realized that not only electronic product development, if uh, IoT gives you the chance to actually learn about other industries also, not only about electronics. For example, as I mentioned you, the variety I've been to all kinds of uh, factories. It can be glove production factories to yarn to etc. All kinds of factories, and every single factory that I go in, it's a different scenario. It's something new every day, and that is always nice it's intriguing and it's 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 it kind of pumps uh i can say it drives you so that was one of the main drives for me to choose iot and actually get into this particular area of uh, uh particular area yeah. yeah thanks thanks jamit and okay. and we have a one question from participant uh, one participant uh, riyad i hope you are there uh, yeah. uh, 
Uh, now one is asking about uh, robotics. Now it's all about this IoT is an entire total industry and um, where are these robotics coming into this scenario? There's a question. So robotics, uh, if you go to the slide uh, where industry 4.0 is, so robotics is one component of industry 4.0. As I said, industry 4.0, there will be uh, very little people producing things. So it will be all robots and machines. For example, if you go to Tesla's factory today, you will not see many people. It will be all, if you look at a YouTube video, it will be only robots. But the robots also have to learn to produce on their own. So that is where IoT e e ecosystem will come to manage this army of robots producing things. So to answer your questions, robotics is a big part of industry 4.0 and also a big part of IoT. It's one and the same. The uh, four point, yeah, okay. Uh, thanks, Riyadh. And uh, we have another question uh, from uh, one participant. Uh, that uh, where can we start IoT? Now it's a big thing, big industry. Now where, how can they start off this? There should be some uh, yeah. entry point. Uh, there are a lot of things okay. that they need to know, but how can they enter? What's the first thing to know when it comes to this industry, Riyadh? So the, as I said, you need to first build your skills. And then if you go to that skills slide, uh, Gayan, uh, it is down some more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you look at this, so first, your first step, whoever asked that question, it's a good question. You need to build your skills. And like Chamit said, he wanted to be in electronics and he had an interest. So he studied engineering, mechatronics. Okay. And then he, he, he started off designing hardware, you know, the circuits and all of that in his previous place and programming these logic controllers. And then with his experience, he was able to come into the IoT sphere and now doing large projects. So you had to build up your skills in those related areas where IoT needs those skills. And then you can select to be a hardware engineer, a software engineer, or an integrations engineer or whatever, depend on, on your liking. But these basic skills have to be learned. Okay? Yes. Does that answer really your question? I, I hope it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and there is a one more question. Uh, without getting to uh, IoT as a profession, uh, how can we benefit by learning IoT? So I think okay. they're asking so, without getting into the profession yeah. as an engineer or, or getting into this profession as an IoT expert, uh, what can what benefit that they can get? I think that is what. Yeah. So basically, uh, you don't need to be you know in in a, in a, you don't need to work as an IoT. But if you have a liking, for example, you can automate your full home. You know, uh, if you if it's simple devices like I showed you, uh, you which you can buy. You can, you know, basically have your whole home lighting system completely using Wi-Fi control time. Okay, you, you can do a lot of things uh, with the current things that are already ready-made uh, for people to use, buy and use and this thing. So, uh, and also on the internet and also I think Gayan will explain about a course that we are running that any interested person can can learn the basics of IoT and, and also to make IoT devices. So I think, Gayan, if you can explain your course, that will be also good for people interested. Yes, uh, we will come into that. But before one more question is there, uh, uh, that what is the impact of uh, 4G and 5G technologies yeah. on IoT? So there's a question. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what, so what 4G and 5G does is, is, is just the internet speed, right? So, for example, if you have 2G, you can't watch a video, right? So if you want to watch a YouTube video, you need 4G, right? So that is, if you go to 5G, it will be 100 times faster than 4G. 
So you can do more things. For example, with 5G, you can basically uh, autonomous a car can run on 5G, communicating with, with that speed. It can even detect a human being and stop immediately as, as fast as light is because 5G will be faster. So as the thing is, as the 5G comes, the internet of things will become faster and you can do more complex things. Like for example, I can sit here if I'm a surgeon and operate on a, on a patient in America. Can you believe that? Using robot, robotic instruments like scalpels and things like that, I can watch on a screen and when I do a cut on, on, on my computer here, it'll actually, you know, create a cut on, on that patient and a stitch or whatever. So that is the future and, and it's coming there. There are a lot of, you know, uh, people experimenting with this so that doctors don't need to be even in the operating theater. They can sit here and as you know, in, in America, they use drones, right? You have seen drone warfare. So they sent the drone to somewhere in Middle East and, and the pilot is sitting in America and he's, he's, he's uh, controlling that whole plane and bombs and everything using, you know, just communication. So that, that is where 5G technology will come in and, and it will play a big role and it's coming. Yes, uh, yes thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. we are coming to the close to the end of the session, but there is another question uh, that, sir, can you tell where we can study IoT from internet? I think we are, if uh, these participants, if they go through with the subject of IoT in YouTube, there are a number of videos that they can understand the basic concepts and the yes. technical things of IoT, but in terms of getting into this profession, but to learn in deep, I think they should uh, consult an education institute which guide them on uh, uh, technical expert areas on IoT, isn't it? Am I, yes. uh, can you Correct. add anything? So, yeah. so it depends again whether you want to be in the profession of IoT or whether it's just by interest. So if you are just wanting to go by interest and, and, and learn about IoT, but as somebody said, they don't want a career in it or a job in it, then the YouTube, if you go and Google or go to YouTube and search for IoT or uh, anything, uh, basics of IoT, introduction to IoT, you will get enough of information uh, as it's the fastest growing industry, there's enough of information. But if you want to become a professional, then you, you or uh, seek a job, you need to learn IoT as a part of your academic course, okay, in, in degree form or do a professional course. There are also many uh, now institutions that are teaching uh, IoT and Arduino and all of these PLC programming and things like that. You can search the net and find such programs. Yes, sir. Uh... Uh, there's a question uh, regarding where can we learn uh, uh, these courses? Uh, 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 that question came at the beginning of the Q&A, but I kept it last uh, just to give an outline of uh, what we do in our IoT program. Uh, we actually conduct, uh, planning to start a short program on uh, IoT, foundation certificate in IoT with Arduino technology. That, that will be a four months uh, course in duration. Uh, run in part-time mode. Saturday, we are conducting classes from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. So this will run in hybrid uh, model. Uh, for those who are interested, uh, uh, hybrid model means uh, you will have theory sessions uh, uh, via online. Uh, uh, you can attend the sessions uh, being at home, but uh, the practical, uh, uh, practical lessons and uh, projects will be conducted at our learning center, which is located in Watala. Uh, I will share the contact details in the chat box. Also, if you need more information regarding these causes, you can put your name and contact number in the chat box so that we can contact you and provide you more information. Uh, we are planning to start this course uh, uh, at the end of the February. Uh, the objective actually of this program is to understand what is IoT, the industry and the career opportunities and how, how Arduino and Arduino programming language uh, to use 
to develop uh, it getting into the iot industry and also uh, of course uh, in this course you will learn a lot of projects uh, projects in the sense you will develop the devices uh, using the arduino and iot um, which can uh, make benefit of your domestic uh, users uh, sometimes maybe remote systems the development of small uh, robots certain things will come in as practical projects in this program so you are getting into the iot the foundation program this is a, this will be a foundation program where you will uh, follow afterwards uh, advanced certificate courses in iot uh, uh, the the benefit of if you study with UTE Learning Center in this IoT, you will learn from industry experts. So as uh, today we have Mr. Riyad who has been who has disrupted this industry and came up with novel things uh, introduced to the industry to make the life easy in the business as well as domestic users. So you will learn from the industry experts in this program and we have a state of art lab facilities and also uh, being one of the leading organization in the country today you take technologies you will have some industry exposure with the organization and of course as i explained earlier you can attend the theory sessions at home and practical sessions uh, at the learning center and we will provide you a valuable certificate and also for the education opportunities after completion of this basic course uh, so if anyone interested about uh, uh, learning, getting into this uh, program, you can uh, send your contact details in the chat box so that we will contact you. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, we can uh, take two more minutes. Uh, since we have come and come to the end of the sessions, we won't have a lot of time. But if you have any other questions, we can take one more minute and reply you. Right, I, since I think there are no more questions, we will uh, wind up this session. Uh, if anybody needs uh, more information related to these courses, you can contact us on the mobile number that I am sharing in the chat box right now. Uh, and also, if anybody needs more information, just share your contact details in the chat box uh, so that we will contact you back and provide whatever the re required information. Uh, I think uh, we have come to the end of this session, Mr. Riyad. I think uh, 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 a big thank to the keynote speaker this evening, Mr. Riyad Smile, the Managing Director and CEO of Utech Technologies, uh, spending your valuable time to explain about the industry and the opportunities in IoT and how they can get into the IoT industry and how lucrative and how uh, valuable this industry to be in in the future as a professional uh, so that they can be more uh, expert uh, person in the, in the industry. And Chamit Koparaheva, a young graduate who started off with UTEC and today is performing very well as an engineer. Thank you very much, Chamit to join with us this evening to explain your exposure as well as your experience, your thoughts, insights related to the industry. Uh, until we meet in another session like this, uh, we say goodbye to everyone and have a good night. And if anybody needs further information, still I am uh, available in the online for five minutes so that you can share your contact details uh, to get more information. Thank you very much, Mr. Riyadh. And thank you, thank you, Garan, and thank you everybody for for joining us. And I hope that you all learned something. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. <laughs>